Hello everyone, this is the first video of provider state management in Flutter. In this video, we are going to be introducing you to state management, uh, how we do it using provider and we will also be managing the state of this counter application. So let's start by uh, introducing the state management. State is basically the data on which the appearance of your app UI depends. So uh, here we have the counter variable that stores an integer zero and that is shown on the UI. It is the state and here we have done some state management what we are doing we are uh, incrementing the counter value we have written a function for it uh, which in term called set state and set state increments the counter value and tells flutter to rebuild the ui so that the new changes are reflected in the ui uh, let's try it we have the plus button let's press it and the value has been incremented uh, we are using this counter value in our ui here we are using the counter value and down there we have the increment counter which is called whenever the floating action button is tapped and that's how we have managed the state in our app this is a known as state management this management of state works well when you have a small application like this counter app but if you have a complex application like a chat app uh, where we have very heavy state we have list of messages from sender and receiver we have text field where we enter some text that needs to be sent to the receiver also we check the uh, status of user if he's active or not so there come a lot of uh, functions and variables that needs to be handled if we uh, follow the same approach for chat application then our widgets and state management will mix up uh, and it will cause a lot of mess it will be difficult to maintain and the performance will not be efficient as well so uh, what can we do we can separate the state from the widgets we can put it in separate file and uh, it will be easy to maintain such type of a state management so uh, for this purpose we have lots of libraries uh, that help us manage the state efficiently and in a good way and it also separates the state from the widgets so uh, in this video i will follow the provider provider is a library for management of state and it is recommended by the flutter team uh, let's learn about provider uh, in provider what do we do first of all we uh, extract the state from our widgets or ui and we put it in a separate file i will name it state and i will put it here but here i will need to create a provider what a provider is a provider is any class that provides some data and uh, allow components to listen to it so i will create a class name uh, counter here we have a counter so i will call it counter state and it's going to extend the change notifier change notifier is a, a class uh, given by flutter uh, it notifies its listeners about any state changes so that's why i've used change notifier and it uh, serves the purpose of provider okay uh, i will make it counter and here set state won't work because we are now in change notifier and we are not in stateless widget i will also remove this no need for it now and i will also remove this underscore because we haven't made it private okay so i have created a provider in provider you first need a provider uh, for uh, managing state using provider you first need a provider class after that what do you do you uh, the widget in which you want to listen to changes above that widget you create a provider widget uh, that uh, instantiate the created provider okay and after that is instantiated all the widgets that come below this provider widget can be able to access and listen to that provider and uh, let's try this uh, i have uh, imported the provider package here you can see i have imported it in my perspective.html file and now in the main file uh, i have this stateful widget that we were using and uh, now we don't uh, need it because uh, we are managing our state uh, using a provider and we don't need stateful widget we can use stateless widget and provider will uh, uh, manage all the state so we will uh, work with stateless okay we created our provider and now we need to uh, create a provider widget above the widget in which we need the uh, what can you say the provider so i will use a change notifier change notifier provider um, it is not present here uh, the reason may be uh, that uh, let's uh, restart the application and make sure that the package is uh, imported okay we have an error here that we will uh, solve no problem let's, let's look for change notifier provider yes we have it uh, it has a 
parameter uh, create and here we will instantiate the uh, provider so i will instantiate counter state okay after that um, uh, all the children of this change notify provider can listen to that uh, uh, to listen to this provider that we have instantiated so here we have uh, the title um, we don't need it we can pass a hard coded uh, string here like counter app so it will become counter app here we have to access the value that our provider provides that is counter so let's access that value but we will also listen for any changes to this value uh, so we will wrap this text in a consumer consumer is a widget uh, that uh, notifies you uh, that that builds the ui whenever there is change in the state so i will give it a type and a type will be counter state consumer will notify you whenever uh, there is a change in state and it will rebuild the ui so that's why we are wrapping this text in consumer because this counter value is going to be changed again and again so we will need to rebuild the uh, text widget again with the incremented value so that's why we are wrapping it in consumer if we have a case where we don't want to update the state we can leave it we can access it uh, by another way so let's uh, let's get this value we have provider and we can access that counter value okay uh, it's giving an error because it needs to be string to be passed to a text widget so now uh, this provider is the counter state which means this is our provider and we are accessing the value of it now uh, on first we have to increment that so in the state we have this method increment counter that increments the counter so we need this to be uh, inserted here so here i don't need a consumer widget because it's not going to be listening to changes instead it will just when i tap the plus button it will just apply the logic it will run the code and uh, the value will be incremented and the change is going to be uh, uh, received by this consumer and it will rebuild the ui okay so here i can access it uh, let me uh, let me give it a an arrow function a callback and the callback will return provider and i will call a name constructor uh, here i will also specify the type because we are listening to a provider of counter state sorry we are not listening here we will set listen to false we are not listening we are just executing the uh, increment counter function so here we are not listening to changes but we are just uh, uh, running this logic and the change will be reflected here in the consumer okay so i think now we need to rebuild uh, we need to rebuild our app okay there is a problem let's identify the problem where it is try getting name of a getter defined okay let me check the state it is integer counter equals to zero i need to access it let me restart yes and it works we are accessing this counter value here and uh, we have uh, put it in uh, the consumer widget and we are accessing the value if i tap on plus nothing happens uh, let's see what's wrong with it here uh, we are on tap we are calling this method and counter is incremented let's print the counter value and see if it really increments or not now let me tap on plus you can see the value has been incremented but the changes are not reflecting here what can be the reason the reason is that here the value is incremented but the listeners are not being notified so here we have a function uh, named notify listeners that comes with change notifier and now whenever the value is incremented the notify listeners is called and all the consumers listening to this value are notified and the value now increment you can see it's four now five six seven and hence we have managed our state using provider so that was it for today video guys in the next video i will uh, talk about and i will write code for some more complex applications of provider state management uh, stay tuned for the next video i hope you enjoyed well thank you